Um, through my years of schooling at St Mary's College, I think that it was probably some of the best years of my life. Um, probably to start out, out with like grade eight, nine and 10 uh, were a bit challenging because you're still finding yourself, still finding like classrooms, still finding your groups and all that kind of stuff. But I think towards 11 and 12, like you, you've already established yourself and um, you're enjoying your time. You have a great solid group of friends. And um, I think, yeah, it was pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty surreal at the moment. Um, I don't think I'll really understand that I've actually made it until I'm there. Um, well, I know there's like a big heavy block still coming up and um, I think it's still a little bit hard to wrap my head around because I almost missed the team. So um, I think that, I, I don't know, I think I'll only realise when I'm actually there representing or being in the pool, swimming in the pool amongst um, everyone else. I think that, that'll be the only time where I actually realise that yeah, I've made this. Well, I had a good relationship with most of my teachers. I, um, I would tell them at the beginning of a term when I'd have a competition or if I had a competition. And um, I think around that time, they would be very supportive and um, help me work through it. So they'd be pretty lenient when I came back and um, they'd also gear me up for um, when I went away. So I'd have stuff to do while I, was, while I was competing. So yeah, I think they were very supportive of what I was doing. Um, I think some of the greatest memories were our lunch times, just a group, like with the group of friends, um, like we always had a good time. Uh, I think also the house, inter-house competitions, like the athletic swimming and um, cross country and also the choir comp, I think they were some of the greatest times of my schooling. Swimming was always a, a sport that I was into because um, my parents got, it, got me into it because of water safety, so they wanted to start us off with that because we were heavy beach goers. Um, but then I also started getting into like basketball and I was adamant that I'd be going to the Olympics for basketball. <laughs> but um, I think I saw I had more success in the pool. So I ended up um, quitting basketball and going full-time swimming. And yeah, it's clearly paid off. <laughs> for me, I think I'd love to represent Australia at the Commonwealth Games in 2018, just because it's on home soil and um, I'd love to be able to go to 2020 Olympics. Um, but on the other side, I'm also doing uni. And I think, I suppose I'm more focused on the swimming side of things than the uni side of things, but I also want to be able to make a career by the end of my swimming career.